Hello FIFA faithful Bearhams here and welcome to episode 5 of Youth Squad Gods with Bayern Munich 2. Off camera I did play a bunch of games as we did defeat Rostock 1-0. We also beat Victoria Cologne 2-0. Then we had a draw against Halisher. I'll show you a highlight of that later. And then we did beat Chemnitzer 1-0 away. And then in the month of March we beat Unterhaching 1-0. We beat Groschersbach 1-0. And finally, we did lose to Ingolstadt by a score of 2 0. The MVP of this two month window by far was Finn Stierlin. He was invincible, as you saw all the clean sheets there. And, uh, well, as he did have some good moments in this uh, off camera period, he did have some low lights, as uh, you'll see here. He was trying his best to clear the ball out, but of course, for some reason, all these FIFA 20 goalkeepers like to punch things out and he punches it straight to the other side they take the shot and it goes in before the game against Prusen Munster we do have one academy graduate and it will be Yannick Baumann already 64 overall so he is tied with Gaston Campanucci as the highest rated player on this Bayern Munich 2 side and he's a center back so I'm thinking for this game we won't bring him in right away but we'll uh, sub him out for Schwabe in the second half so welcome to the club Yannick Baumann looking to start the episode off right it's Bayern Munich 2 at the Grunwalder Stadion against Prusen Munsta I did forget to bring in Yannick Baumann so we will start him in the next game against Eintracht Braunschweig if you guys don't know uh, JB3 Sports, he did do a series with Eintracht Braunschweig. Unfortunately, he lost the save, so he weren't able to finish the uh, rest of the World Academy. But uh, if you want to see his new save currently with FC Cincinnati, I will leave a link in the description below. As uh, he is one great YouTuber, and I'm surprised how long he kept his streak of uploads. He did it for over a year. Again, to me that is just unfathomable. I don't, I don't know what Gil was doing. As there's a great block from Schwabe. Yeah, Schwabe and Campanucci, quite the duo in the back four. Oschan slips one through, but it will be ah, uh, oh, great block! Schwabe coming to the rescue again. We're just trying to avoid all the craziness in the box here for a chance now. There we go. What a tackle by Vitaly. There's another great tackle by Vitaly. He's been phenomenal this game. I'm going to try to get a pass through to him. He will keep it. Good play. Oh, if only Gory wasn't offside. Now Cueto has some pace over Henry. Looking for the cross. There's a good header cleared out. Campanucci, thank you. That was so close. Trying to go near post on Stierlin as there's maybe a chance for a block, but it looks like once again Munster is offside. Does take a deflection off Vitaly. Vitaly, oh my gosh, just bulldozes that man. I'm loving the physical presence from our Italian CDM. That will be the end of the game, so nil-nil, but I thought it was very action-packed. Player of the game, without a doubt, Simone Vitaly with two great tackles, some great interceptions and gave us a chance to get this clean sheet. Second game of the episode, we look to put something on the board as we take on Eintracht Braunschweig. Otto, able to turn past Vitaly, slips that one through. Is he offside? Oh my goodness, what a block by Campanucci. I know he is offside, but once again, the Argentinian coming in clutch just in case if the ref makes the wrong call. So yes, this is the debut for Yannick Baumann, our 64 overall center back straight out of the academy. Going to try him out at center back. He can also play the midfield position, so we might have to give him a go. There's a chance here. Dudzinski's through. Dudzinski fires, scores straight away. Ten minutes in, Mateusz Dudzinski gets his eighth goal on the season. That was quick. Great running by our cam. Easy passing for Simone Gori. As this is a great start away from home, that's for sure. A uh, little bit of jostling by Radu. Great block, though, by that is Gill. Great. Yeah, he's been really good. I've started to train him. Ah, oh, he has dropped in quality in terms of that, as there might be a chance now for Braunschweig. They're opening up our defense quite well. 
Oh, what a slide by Campanucci. Oh, beauty. What a beautiful play by our center back. Stopping that Braunschweig chance in their tracks. Radu trying to get in his face. Oh, good save by Stierlin. He's going to launch that. And that will be the end of the half. So we do get a goal early, thanks in part to Gory and Dudzinski. What a formidable duo they are. Cross in the box. Header. Oh, hits off. Clear it. What type of... What type of clearance was that? We're going to take a look at the replay here. That was ridiculous. I, just clear it. I'm spamming the square button. And all he does is, like, pat it down with the back of his neck. What What are you doing, Gil? Urga gets that to Ortiz. Dudzinski takes a shot. Maybe a chance. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. No. Yes. We do get a goal. I don't know why I said no, but we do get a goal, and it is Simon Gori picking up the scraps. That shocked me for sure. Wow, I was just spamming that circle button, hoping Dudzinski could put it in, hoping Campanucci could put it in, but it falls right to the platter of Simon Gori. And what a finish by our Italian striker as he get his 19th goal on the season, and we're back in the lead. <laughs> Ooh, Vitali. Again, his physicality has been immense this episode. Good header. Clear it out. Oh, good block by Bauman. No, Bauman! You idiot! Ah, there we go. It's 2 2 once again. There we go. Good catch by Steerland. Steerland. Hucks it out wide. Finally, the game is over. It does end 2-2. We should have won this game, but... Some mistakes. Some mistakes were made by some of our defenders. Not Campanucci, not Vitali, but... Oh, should have had that one. Anyway, after 90 minutes here at Eintracht Stadion, it's Braunschweig 2, Bayern Munich 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Before we get into the third and final game of this episode, we do have a player customization, and it is brought to you in part by Long Live Pat Back. And he has decided to choose Simone Gori. And for Simone Gori, he has the tight short sleeve shirt, high socks, the number 20, and I could not give him the Under Armour boots. I don't know why, but I think they took them out of the catalog as I did, I did purchase them from the catalog, but now they just don't exist. So... I stuck with orange Adidas. Uh, Pat, if you want to switch up the boots, just uh, DM me. You know where I am. For this final game against Vicau, can we finish with a win, please? All right, let's finish off this episode right. Finally did get some goals, but let's get a winning result now. It's Vitteriti. Going to sky that one in. Punched out by Stierlin. Oh, no. Gory's down. Looks like Gory is injured. So we will head it. It's, of course, it's going to land to him, but he can't do anything about it since he's hurt. Campanucci, great tackle, even on a yellow. Uh-oh, poor play by Campanucci. He gets beat. Huth continues to run. Come on, Campanucci, play this right. Play this right. Oh, what a block. What a block by Schwaba. Look at this play. What a beauty. To limit the severity of Simon Gori's injury, we are bringing on Tim Rotman, our six foot five German striker on, in hopes that maybe with a little shift in uh, player personnel, we might actually get some more scoring. As Vitali tries to whip that out to Radu, Radu's not gonna get there in time as there might be another chance here. There's a shot, great block by Campanucci. So that is an easy pickup for Finn Stierlin. It's now starting all the way back. Can we get a run from Vital? Yes, we can. Vital gets the pass to Gori. Gori cuts it back. Maybe a chance here. Vitali. Vitali takes the shot and he scores. So before Gori will be taken out for his injury, he does get himself an assist. And it is Simon Vitali getting on the board. I'd have to say 
If the result stands, MVP of this episode is Simone Vitali for his defensive prowess in the first two games and this goal in the final game. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Get in the way. Get in the way. Ah, defense falters right after we score. Has been a common theme of this episode. I do have to say I'm starting to regret putting in Rothman. I mean, as soon as we took Gory out, of course he got the assist. Good block by Campanucci. Maybe one last chance here. Are they going to give us this opportunity? Maybe another chance here for a through ball. There it is. Dudzinski cuts, taps it through. Vitali for two. No! No, Vitali! Oh, the game winner was there. And it just comes off the club of the goalkeeper. So now we're going to have to pray to hopefully get a uh, header off this one, which I have not been lucky all season. So there's a chance. Vitali take. Oh! Vitali trying to get another chance at a goal. He had it. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Near post. See what we can do here. Nope, that's going straight to the goalkeeper. Nope, that will be the end of it. Tried so hard, but after three games on camera, we draw every single one. Taking a look at Simon Gori's injury, it's not too bad. It's only a bruised shoulder, so he'll only be out for five days. Away fixture against Valdoff, and we lose. Henry, our right back, somehow gets a goal. Draws first blood in the 28th minute, but it is Valdoff who get the two more goals. Second simulated game against Meppen, and it's another loss. So our winless streak continues. Final simulation against Magdeburg, and again, another loss. So after having a two-month window of nothing but wins, we have about a month and a half of nothing but losses. It balances out. You can say that. It does balance itself out, as we will now take a look at the table. We are sitting in sixth place, just... Uh, with four more games to go, we are six points out of that promotion playoff spot. As Unterhaching has 59 points, Hollisher with 58, and KFC with 54. Again, board wanted us to be out of the relegation zone, and we're flirting with promotion. But still, hurts a little that we dropped so low and so fast. So for episode six, the final episode of season one, we will start out with a game against 1860 Munich, and then we will simulate either the Carl Zeiss Jena or the Duisburg. I think we will play the Carl Zeiss Jena since we didn't play that one on camera. Simulate the Duisburg, and then we'll finish it off with a game against Kaiserslautern. So yes, it was a very abysmal episode. We did have some flashes as uh, Simone Vitali, I'd have to say, was player of the episode. And the defense did their best, but sometimes this game can be unforgiving. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bearhams, and as always, toodaloo.